On the 14th October 2009, Ndora West MP David Bahati tabled the controversial anti-homosexuality bill in Parliament. The bill elicited harsh priority from the international community, especially Britain and the United States of America. British Prime Minister David Cameron and then U.S. Secretary of State Hillary Clinton telephoned the President asking him to rein in on Parliament. However, in 2002, the contentious bill was resurrected. Speaker of Parliament Rebecca Kadaga said the eager awaited bill would be passed into law towards the end of the year to serve as a Christmas gift. They have asked us to give them a Christmas gift. I want to say the report is in our hands. The order paper is in our hands. The program is in our hands. Why can't we do it for them? The West is threatened to cut aid to Uganda, and once again, debate on the bill was deferred. Gay activists now want the leading crusaders of this bill be indicted by the ICC. I have been shocked that I, uh, Honorable Bahati, uh, Honorable Turo, Lokodo, Stephen Langa, and others have been targeted, and they have now chosen to investigate us. However, Pastor Martin Isempa says he will not relent until the bill is passed into law. This court is rooted in European human rights. And for the European human rights view, sodomy is a human right. But for the African view, sodomy is a human vice. As resentment continues to grow against the ICC, Sempa has asked African heads of state to revoke the Rome Statute, which holds them accountable. Then our relationship with them must be revised. The Ethics and Integrity Minister Reverend Father Simon Rokodo, one of the accused, has also hit back. A cockroach is the most limited in brain creature, mm. but never will you have hear or see a cockroach eh, of a male sexual orientation jumping on a fellow male. So anybody who is contradicting this must be tested for lunatism mm. because there is a real perversion, a real diversion and a disorientation of sound judgment. It's also not clear yet how the ICC will indict those proponents of the bill in a country where homosexuality is outlawed. Apparently the ICC is serious. It is taking the case that was registered in America by an American group called CRCC and is bringing it to the Hague. It's a 150-page document. This is an immoral act, and it has nothing to do with ICC. ICC deals with the criminality of the nature of mass destruction. It's reported that Ugandan gay rights activist Nomani Magembe, together with another American gay activist, filed a petition with the ICC. The gay activists claim that Sempa, Bahat, and others are responsible for the death of David Kato, who was killed by his sodomy partner. Jingo Francis, NTV.